All right, so today I am attempting to reclaim one of my battered oat fields. This is the one that was socked with water the worst. Believe it or not, this entire section out here after I planted oats and they started to come up really well was uh, underwater. This whole area was essentially just like a swamp. It was underwater for pretty much three weeks solid and all the oats drowned. So what I've decided to do with this is to replant it, this time with some Sudan grass. All right, yeah, they call it an eight by eight drag harrow, but really it's a pair of eight foot by four foot harrows that hook together. And every time I pick it up with the front end loader, which is about the only way you can move this thing, some of these hooks come undone. So I always have to be running around fixing that. Anyway, what we're gonna do, we must both plant and fertilize this field and kill the fire ant, which is on my camera. And uh, I just wonder where else those stupid things are. Anyway, yeah, fertilizer's going down first, and I'm gonna be pulling this thing behind me so that at least some of this gets hit with the drag harrow again. And then uh, once the fertilizer's put out, it's time to put seed out, then I'm gonna drag everything, and hopefully it'll come out a lot smoother than it did last time. Now, as anybody can tell you, it is extremely important to handle each of these bags a maximum number of times, hit peak efficiency. Got load number two loaded up in here. And man, you thought this was a lot of stuff on the trailer earlier. You should have seen when I got here. I was trying to sell a set of rims and tires on the old Craigslist and some guy texted me, I think last night. Yeah, it was last night, it's been a long day. I gotta be honest with you guys, these pretty much always 12 hour days, sometimes 10 hours, other times 14 hour days back-to-back non-stop or starting to wear me down a little bit but anyway uh this guy's like hey you know i want these things can i come out and meet you somewhere and pick them up i was like yeah you can but you know i'm a hay farmer i'm out working right now i tell you what though if you want to come out tomorrow which is today i'll throw them on my seed trailer you can meet me out here at the field and he did he was really cool about it he came out picked them up i got some cash out of those and i can officially say i've completed a craigslist sale out of a seed trailer Back at it. Man, it would be cool if I had some kind of folding toolbar with three of those drag arrows so I could do about as wide as this thing spreads in a single pass with the drag instead of just covering up the tracks of the tractor. Which helped, it is breaking up some of the clumps down there, of course. But uh, it helped more if it was three times as wide. If only, if only, right? Anyway, the good news is that this stuff is going down pretty well. I hope the camera can pick this up here. But we got a pretty nice application of fertilizer. And uh, you can see where I drove through here on the last pass. That drag does cover up a lot of this. And even right here is noticeably smoother than right over here. So uh, unlike the fertilizer, I don't want the seeds to be smashed apart and broken into the soil. So I'm gonna unhook that drag spread the seed, and then hook up the drag again and go over it so that way it only gets dragged through once.
seeds are definitely getting out. We got all these little red dots everywhere. Now ah, we're stuck in that last nasty bit of caked up fertilizer. Where's a stick? Where's my dog when I need him? He could find one. Other way, tractor. I'll hit a full 540 RPM. I'll hit a full 540 RPM just uh, so that gets chopped as finely as possible. All right, so we're cruising along at a pretty comfortable five and a half miles an hour pulling this drag. Uh, earlier on, I was pushing eight miles an hour. I was actually over eight miles an hour for a while. But I decided to slow it down, drop a gear, have some dinner, and this feels like a pretty comfortable, pretty easy pace for this field. So this is the finished part. It looks a heck of a lot smoother than the last time I planted this or uh, about anything else for that matter. So it's, uh, it's getting it done. I'm pretty thrilled. This is me demonstrating the emotion of being thrilled. <laughs>